<sighs> power loss log uh, blog day what's it seven eight something of that order I don't know anymore haven't heard for a long time plenty of exciting stuff going on now uh, so uh, this morning uh, my circulation pump was pretty much not going anymore uh, it does work but it had dropped off in power and it wasn't keeping the circulation going uh, quite as it should uh, it was just kind of keeping pressure on one side and uh, not moving any water so I got out and got myself this thing which is a much more proper uh, pump uh, for the application uh, it just uh, zipped us straight onto uh, the uh, line instead of going in the pot boiling hot pot sometimes and I got myself a uh, apparently leaky, uh, probably because I haven't put it together properly, a leaky uh, a cut-off valve just to be able to cut the flow off when I'm doing stuff uh, and that prevents the whole system from draining because that was a huge issue before uh, since I would just get water everywhere and the drain is over there so uh, that's a huge step up although I have to fix the leak going there. Uh, what's well, been even more exciting today is uh, I got to borrow uh, another generator uh, this is uh, a Honda dating from the Stone Age and I uh, the dude who borrowed lent it to me said oh, yeah, it, it ought to work fine I've lent it out to plenty of people and uh, uh, just to change the oil and fill it up and you're good to go uh, so I changed the oil it was uh, uh, yeah I'll, I'll just yeah. This thing is specified for 10W30. It hasn't been happy running on that. Uh, so the motor is fine. It's a tiny Honda 360 watt thing. However, uh, when powering it up, it ran beautifully until I put a load on it and uh, it wouldn't go. I connected up my uh, great big battery charger or rather loud power supply of this thing and it, the transformer made a horrible loud noise and the rubs dropped on the motor so I figured out maybe it's just this thing is too heavy duty it's powered by a 500 VA transformer but really it shouldn't be that big of an issue because it draws like 20 watts unloaded which is nothing and then I shot the multimeter into the outlet on the generator and this body thing is putting it 600 volts so the uh, control circuit has failed. Uh, it's just uh, magnetizing the motor uh, or magnetizing the generator 100% all the time. So the idle voltage is ridiculous. Uh, you could possibly get it to work with like a heater or something, but this thing being rated 360 watts, eh, good luck finding a heater that's going to have like the right amount of performance to loaded down just about <laughs> that much uh, yeah yeah it's just a no-go yeah so i don't know uh, what's gonna happen with that it's completely useless for the time being i don't feel like digging into someone somebody else has generated to fix it since we do still have a big gen set borrowed uh, which i've been able to charge from batteries with a little bit so aside from that exciting thing Nothing much has really changed except we've further optimised the use of our stove here for heating. So I got the broad idea of shoving a fan to blow into this hot cavern like this is a bread baking oven uh, because it's got a fair amount of uh, surface area going since it's ribbed all over for well, my pleasure this time round. And uh, this actually works quite well. The air coming out is... Uh, Oh, very warm to the touch. It feels like a uh, one kilowatt space heater, basically. So we have quite a bit of energy coming out of here, and this doing this may raise the temperature of the room very quickly. And I've also made uh, made pizza today. In here, this thing is bloody amazing at baking pizzas with the hot stones at the bottom and heat coming from the top. That's a big plus <laughs> for this actually. 
amazing pizzas, amazing frozen pizzas. Uh, so since that fan is down there now, I dug up a couple of radial fans to blow air over here because radial fans really are uh, more efficient uh, doing this type of work since they have a more focused output. So uh, the airflow, like the level up here, there's no flow. Down here, there's flow. So we have flow going low down where we want it, over the heat sinks. And uh, that's uh, also working quite well. Uh, I'll get everything running on this, this WAMP Tech China power supply. Very efficient, thankfully, that's been the thing that matters right now. Uh, I have uh, actually installed a bunch of aluminium foil under the middle part of the, the pot to improve the thermal uh, conductivity down to uh, the uh, plat it's sitting on. I'm not sure how well it's working, it's, uh, my fire is not regulated well enough, but uh, I don't think we've lifted it up any, or have we? Oh yeah, actually the last piece is actually lifting the whole thing up and I can see we have somewhat low temperature there, so I'm probably going to remove a couple of sheets of aluminium foil just to drop it down so we have good connect, uh, good uh, contact with the metal and around as well. But uh, that did, is probably going to make a fair amount of difference since the plus is 400C and the bottom of the pot is like 45. So we have a couple hundred C a drop in between there. Not too good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's just really starting to get comfortable. Uh, top side temperature right now uh, was about 13 C last I checked, and uh, we should be. Where's the IR gun? Where's the IR gun? We should be getting a reasonable uh, temperature going. Yeah, 30 C in the uh, ceiling there. It's going to get colder over there, but. We have a 20 C floor heating pretty much everywhere, so I'm sleeping roughly somewhere around here above a chimney. And yeah, it's not too bad. As long as I can keep the generator gassed up, which I think we haven't managed uh, today because it just shot down, uh, we're gonna be good for a while. Since I'm running with a 12 volt electric system, I actually have the potential to waste a bit of energy. I can charge my laptop off of this and charge the batteries on the generator tomorrow uh, since I'm not forced to use a 48 volt solar system which is well not getting a lot of sun since you can see it's pitch black outside uh, but yeah that's what I did I guess yeah nothing more going on maybe we'll get power <laughs> back tomorrow else uh, I guess you'll get another update <laughs>